Shinobi vlog. Beautiful day. Actually, I was. I'm gonna show you. I was out doing a um a time lapse of the stars the other night. Uh, up there, you might be able to see it. There's a little uh, obelisk. What's up there? And then last night I shot one from here. And the difference is the night noise pollution from the from the lights. So I think <coughs> I'm gonna do a vlog for the week. But I don't have much to shoot about. I mean, just my normal day stuff. So I'm gonna make it more of a like a um what I shoot with vlog. And there's a camera I got that I haven't really fallen in love with yet, and I'm gonna use it for the week and see how that goes. I've been shooting on Panasonic's since I got my first one, which was a GH1, then I got a GH3, and then last July I got a GH4, which I love this camera. It's a great camera. It takes great photographs, great video, it takes small lenses, so if I was gonna travel with one camera, this would be it. Then I had a goo on me. Um, I always had this rule where if it didn't fit in one bag, it was too much. I had to be able to put it in a bag, put it on my back and ride a bike. Then I start getting bigger bags. Hence, the new camera, which is Sony A7S Mark II. Um, I thought this would be the camera that I always wanted, um, but I don't think it is um, for a number of reasons. But what I'm gonna do is this week, I'm just gonna only shoot on this camera. And each day I'm only gonna shoot on one lens. Um, so this lens is the 28 to 70. It's a kit lens, 35 or 3.5 to 4.6 lens. All the kit lenses now are good. All the cameras now are great. Um, but it's finding something that suits you. I mean, if you have a car, there's a certain car you like to drive because of the position you're in, the way it sits. It's hard to put your finger on. The same with bikes. I like there's a certain bike I like to ride. And the ergonomics of this thing are not great. To start off with, just to hold it, the grip's a little bit small. I mean, my little finger doesn't fit here. I'm having to do that all the time. The menu system is terrible. Um, there's not a touch screen on the back. Battery life isn't great. But it does a couple of things brilliantly. It shoots in low light, amazingly, like nothing else. It also um, has a full frame, so sensor inside is equivalent to a 35 mil camera which means um, the pixelations on this square area it just gives a better depth of field now i used to think depth of field was just a blurry background but it's the more i look at it the more i see it's the compression it's how things fit how they look how they look like dimensionally wise instead of just flat they look like there's more dimensional so messing around with this and um, i'm going to spend a week on it and see if i can get used to it as such. Um, also I'm gonna shoot in S-Log3, which is a picture profile, um, which is flat. Um, what that does is it allows you to punch in more colors. <coughs> so it reminds me of Technicolor in the 60s and 70s when before color film there was black and white and then they started adding color, it was called Technicolor. And it looked real punchy, really like someone painted it and memories are kind of sketchy anyway, so I always feel that it's not a true representation of what actually happened, it's just a memory, so it can be colorful, it can be a little bit more punchy, because it's only flat, it's only 2D, it's only flat on the screen, so how can you make it look 3D, just make the colors pop a little bit more. So I'll be using this with a LUT. I like that teal and orange look, it's like blue and orange, and um, you'll see that in a lot of cinematic films, so that's what I'm gonna be shooting with today. Then I'm gonna use different lenses for the rest of the week. What else have I got? I'm gonna use this 55 1A. It's a real nice lens. Then I'm gonna go vintage. This is a Nikon Nikkor 35 to 70 mm 2.8. Um, that's a big beast of a yoke. One of the other lenses I'm gonna shoot on is this. This is my favorite lens by far. Sometimes you pick up something and it just automatically works. This is the Sigma 18 to 25 1.8 lens. Now it's for an APS-C sensor, which means um, it's a bigger than a micro four third sensor, but it's not as big as a full frame for the Sony. So if you put this on a Sony, you're gonna get a black circle around like looking through binoculars. 
but there's a workaround on this. This fits on the GH4, but I have a speed speed booster or a focal reducer. Very much like a magnifying glass. And what that does is it basically magnifies the size of the uh, the coverage of the sensor. So if I put the the camera into APS-C mode. Now I can use this in APS-C and it becomes a, well, 1.5 1 1 times crop, but it becomes a 1.8, it becomes a, an extra stop of lights out to 1.4. So it's uh, quite a blurry background. So it, with that camera, it looks amazing. So that's what I'm gonna do for the week. I'm just gonna fuck around, see the different lenses, shoot an S-Log3 because I'm just been not doing any of that in the vlog so it's just to kind of up the game a little bit practice a little bit more kind of drill 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 uh shout out d1 sent me some caps over from the states uh, we had him on the mac life doing um wraps and um, he did one over and um, some tracks from dahlia from from uh, new zealand cool guy so thanks for those the other thing is which is unusual is lagos is i've been coming here for i don't know nine years did the first camp here seven years ago 20 odd people came down and there was nobody in the town nobody never and people used to talk to me about oh years ago it used to be jam packed all the time the bars were full the restaurants are full and I kind of didn't believe it and something happened this year where the whole place is just rammed full of people don't know what it is I know it's a beautiful spot but everyone wants to find out about the secret so it's a cracking day I'm gonna get out film for the day there might be a drone shot Fuck it, we'll just go straight to that now. Another cracking day. Going for a little ramble before I go training. Mats are all washed. So you got this beach down at Anna, over across the way, and then there's two more beaches in between that. Well, I mean, this is like April, and already it's late 20 degrees, 25, 26. I'm in a t-shirt and shorts riding into the gym. And already there's people here. Never seen this before. Usually get a few people at Easter, not many. Then after that you gotta wait till June, July, August. It's rammed and then they, they all just fuck off. But this year is a little bit different. And the sea took back the beach.
Oh, rolls through. And he stays here. I'm going to step around. Keep this on through. We'll keep it going if you want to get the armbar. Bring it across. So we're at 80,000 ISO. This is my real home. I'm on the bike again. It's pitch dark. I usually go to back road, so to avoid the, the drunk driving crowd here. So that's today's vlog. I shot everything on SLO3, um, and I shot with the A7S2 with that 28 to 70 kind of kit lens. It's a quite sharp lens, very happy with it. See how it looks afterwards. Everything else was shot on the Osmo at the start, and the drone, first time messing around with the drone. Obviously that wasn't me flying it, but something that I'm going to look forward to. Tomorrow I'm going to shoot with the 55 1.8 for the day, see what we can do with that with the optical zoom and the crop factor. So I'm going to try and make this my daily camera. If not, it's going to be got back to the GH4, maybe the GH5, who knows. So also McGregor Fast is live. It's going to be a hub of information. Also you'll have Connor's training program. So do what he did to win the Diaz fight, get in shape with the work in. So till the next one, hashtag Rafter, Rafter.